Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in New York City, this is CBS 2 News at 11. Playing video games and getting paid for it. His job is part of what happens when you take back an unwanted Christmas gift. We go behind the scenes of holiday returns. Plus, and many of the people who hit stores today were looking to return or exchange unwanted presents. You may be surprised to learn many items don't go right back to the shelves. CBS 2's Sonia Mogi tells us a place that has almost nothing that anyone ever sees where the unwanted gifts go. John Murphy gets paid to play video games, but he's not playing, he's working. Well, they can have glitches, they can have problems, and, you know, so I, I got to check for all of that stuff before we, you know, we pass it on. Murphy works here, a warehouse full of unwanted gifts and returned products, aisle after aisle of everything from computers to bicycles stacked almost to the ceiling. CBS2 got to go inside and check out Liquidity Services, Inc., in Cranberry, New Jersey, a company that buys products from the nation's biggest retailers and gives returned items a second life. When those products come in, they get scanned and come over here to have their picture taken so they can go on a website. And if they're electronics, they go over here to get tested. And that's where we found Murphy, who's looking at Nintendo Wii gaming consoles today, which means he may have to dance. Just Dance 3. I, I'm not going, I'm not playing along with this one. Okay, so he wouldn't dance for our cameras, but he did tell us what he looks for before he gives his seal of approval. I'll play for a couple minutes and make sure it, you know, it doesn't overheat and doesn't stall. Make sure there's personal information is wiped off of computers and off of uh, games consoles. Murphy and other testers have to work fast for products to be able to head back out in 30 days or less. Items uh, age very quickly. The latest models come out, and so you want to get those uh, products back in consumers' hands as quickly as you can. And usually at a discounted price. Reporting from Cranberry, New Jersey, Sonia Mogi, CBS 2 News. Now, Liquidity Services says they work with 70% of the nation's biggest stores. Part of the money to pay workers comes from restocking fees that you pay when you return something. Well, was it a mistake?